Hello CCM, this is Brother Adam speaking to you from my home. Um, just want to give you an encouragement, an update, a uh, little spiritual nugget to chew on for our time. We're definitely living in unprecedented times, uh, times of challenge, times where a lot of us are being presented with things that we may haven't, we maybe haven't faced before, but we're going to be in this together. Um, these are your anxious times, these are times where even uh, Amongst the best of times, some of us suffer with anxiety, uh, pressures and stress, the unknown, and all of this corona challenge is, it can exacerbate all that if we're not careful. So I just want to offer you a spiritual nugget each day over the next several days. Uh, different staff members from CCM are going to be just taking two to three minutes and sending an update video on uh, some spiritual nugget for us to chew on as we're we're all away from each other physically, but we want to be together um, virtually as, as much as we can to stay connected, to stay fed, to keep our spiritual lives and our community life growing. So some of the ways we want to do that is we want to stay connected through as many video chats and um, online sessions as we can. We're going to try our best to have night fire. We're going to meet at 8 o'clock on Wednesday nights during our normal night fire time. Not in person, but we'll meet electronically. We'll send out a link to a Zoom, uh, a Zoom call that people can log into, and we'll do our best to have some, some form of uh, a community event together, Wednesday nights at 8. So stay tuned for more details there. Um, these little videos are once-a-day things, little spiritual nuggets, other ways we can stay connected. Um, so my first inspiration for us is please do follow the, uh, the guidelines that are set out for us, all the recommended things from government, from our school, from uh, any diocese, uh, follow the local hygiene, uh, distance policies, all that stuff. We want to stay safe and healthy. But on a spiritual note, um, I think there can be two responses to our time. One is we can be hyper-focused on everything that's going on. We can look at the news a hundred times a day and we can start to panic and that anxiety can really rise. Um, I'm not saying don't be informed, don't, don't know what's going on. I, I, I do support that, but just be careful. I think all of us know when we've reached a certain level of, you know, I think I know enough right now for today and it's not going to help me too much more to keep feeding that. The opposite approach I think we could take is one where we can actually use this time that we have, all this free time, um, when we're not in class, to do something to, to better ourselves. We can pray a little more. We can perhaps do some spiritual reading that we've never done before. We could do acts of charity to other people. And we could do very practical, non-spiritual things like learn a musical instrument or read more, read more books or take up a new hobby, something, something to fill our time constructively so that at the end of this we can come out saying actually that was a pretty good time where I used that to better myself um, rather than spending all of my time obsessing over details that I can't really do a whole lot to control so that's my spiritual message to us today I love you I'm praying for you every day can't wait to the time when we can see each other in person again if anybody wants to talk to me personally please feel free to email me and see if we can set up a time. I would love to talk to you, call you, um, video chat with you. Okay, God bless you and I love you.